Well, this is a challenge uh, to say something new after 15 previous speakers <laughs> and to say something interesting enough to keep you awake. Uh, I'll do my best and not get a yellow or a red card, I note. Um, if you are uh, inclined to have a little doze, then I want you to remember two words uh, which, as far as I'm concerned, describe our experience of working uh, with neighbourhood planners in creating neighbourhood plans. And those two words are support uh, and alignment. At Broaden District Council, we seek to support parish and town councils in their preparation of neighbourhood plans. And as we look forward, we continue to seek to align ourselves with their local ambitions to deliver in their local areas. In order to support and guide parish and town councils, then we've done a number of things at Broaden District Council. Uh, we've created dedicated staff members within our team to provide that support. Uh, we've also provided practical assistance, such as mapping where appropriate. We've published neighbourhood planning guidance uh, and published that on our website. I would say it, but it's very good. Uh, I'd recommend you to have a look at it. We've set up a neighbourhood plan uh, network group for all those involved in neighbourhood planning in our area. Uh, we arrange quarterly meetings when they can come together, they can learn together, they can share information together uh, and move forward together. We've established a blog uh, to support that network. Uh, we also offer uh, another uh, £6,000 over and above the locality funding to help resource Paris and town councils. As a result of the hard work of the parish and towns and the communities in our area, uh, we now have uh, three adopted neighbourhood plans. We have another one with the examiner uh, and we hope to adopt in the summer. We also have another further five parishes which now have designated uh, neighbourhood areas. That's what's happened to date and we will continue to provide that level of support. But has been indicated by a number of people that have already spoken. Uh, we could have the most wonderful neighbourhood plans, uh, and of course we do, but uh, we could have the most wonderful neighbourhood plans. Uh, but if nothing happens and if nothing is delivered, then none of us can consider them uh, to be successful. Uh, and therefore, in order to maximise the opportunities uh, that come alongside them, uh, in order to successfully deliver those local ambitions and those local policies, it is important that we, as local authorities, align ourselves. Uh, and I will argue in a minute that also developers align themselves uh, with the ambitions of parish and town councils in the neighbourhood plans. Uh, if you need any incentivisation on that, it is worth noting that I suggest at least two parishes within Broad and District Council will receive between four and five million pounds in silver seats over the next few years. They are therefore a valuable partner and a main player in shaping their area. With this in mind, uh, I would argue that we'll be letting our communities down if we don't work together to deliver the policy ambitions which are in their neighbourhood plan and meet the infrastructure needs of that local community. To help uh, to achieve that, then we are working uh, and will continue to work with parish councils to help identify shared ambitions and prioritise joint projects. If parishes are happy to work with us, we can provide resources and expertise. We can lever in additional funding uh, and where appropriate, we can explore potentially borrowing in order to deliver projects early in a local area. But we can underwrite that borrowing against the future sill receipts of that parish council. I see no reason why developers can't act in a similar way uh, and align themselves with the parish council's local ambitions. A classic example would be if you're delivering a, a play or community facility, then you can surely optimise the benefits of that facility uh, by combining your efforts with the parish council's own ambitions, bringing in your commercial funding and using their future silver seats to bring the best for that community. I've got a yellow card, I'll be finished soon. Uh, at Broadland, we will be working with all the relevant parties uh, to ensure such aligned arrangements. Finally, you'll be pleased to know, uh, it is worth noting from our experience throughout this process, uh, we have seen improved relationships, as you've already heard, with the communities we're working with. 
we have seen communities coming to terms with the fact that they cannot prevent growth through neighbourhood planning, but they can shape it. That is a change of culture we should all welcome and we should embrace, and to that end, we will continue to work with communities in neighbourhood planning. Thank you very much.